Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. Um, this is going to be a cancer reading for February 22nd and 23rd, 2022. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to stop around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. And cancer, um, we recently had a full moon in Leo, which brought on a lot of like fun flirty energy uh but we also had um all the planets stop being in retrograde thankfully <laughs> last shuffle um hmm someone hurt is heartbroken and they like you and they want to date um i think you know this already though when i shuffle cancer you versus them february 22nd 23rd 2022 yeah you could have broke up with this person or left because you were tired of the same pattern it was like a pattern you know you wanted things to be different, and this person was just always the same. So with the sword and the rose, I feel like you kind of cut that out, or you started to speak up more. Coffee cup. I feel like you guys are going to meet up. Um, it's just right now you guys are mirroring, like as in you could be holding a mirror up to each other, what you guys have to work on, or it's like both of you guys are kind of doing the same thing. Kisses here, they do love you. The chaser. And they are going to chase you. I feel like both of you guys tend to chase each other. Don't want to let each other go. But you could be avoiding a conversation. Or it's just like you don't want to talk to them right now. And it could be, you see, and it could be because they weren't the best person. Okay? With the butterfly here, it means they've evolved. They've changed. Maybe back then they were a piece of crap. <laughs> but it's looking like now, you know, they've becoming who they're supposed to be. The date. And I feel like this person's going to ask you out on a date here. And you probably avoid this person because you tend they tend to really piss you off. They get under your skin a lot. See, passion. It's like you guys have a lot of lust, passion for each other. And it just gets very intense. But I feel like you're avoiding them. And you guys have a lot of fun when you guys are together. You know, I feel like they just want to move forward. They're getting over stuff with this boat here. The dragonfly. That's like both of you guys are finding out things. And... With the dragonfly, it's kind of like, too bad. Like, you just have to get over it. It's like, um, there's no other way around it. You have to feel it to heal it. That's the only way. And on your person's side, they still have faith. You know, I feel like they could be avoiding this conversation or something like that. Um, I feel like, you know, there's still love there. But I feel like, again, with this butterfly, you soared your, ring, your wings and you kind of took off. But here... Again, um, this person, I feel like they're avoiding a conversation. They tend to piss you off. They don't open up. But I feel like they're going to chase you. So Cancer, you versus them. February 22nd and 23rd, 2022. Cancer. Two more shuffles. And I have another deck here I'm going to use. Last shuffle, Cancer. February 22nd and 23rd, 2022. Cancer. You versus them. So Cancer, you could be dealing with like a Libra. But it's looking like this person is spying on you. But I feel like you already know all this stuff. You know that this person, you know, has karma with you. And it's like you you left it. You ended certain cycles because they weren't being a nice person. The snake. You see, they were being shady. It's like I feel like this person loves you, but they're a two-faced. Like they smile on your face and they talk behind your back. They sunglasses. But they're watching you. See, Page of Swords spying on you confused they could have a lot of options or they think you do but it's like they're confused about like this situation ace of swords you see i feel like you see things clearly they could have been taking your money um that they owe you money ace of swords six of pentacles or it's like if both of you guys could stand in your truth this could be an equal situation someone could like a lot of math because there's like geometric, there's literal formulas here. Could also be music, but it's more math. Um, see, on your person's side, I feel like they feel, you know, they're happy kind of being the player. The Queen of Cups, Three of Wands. They plan on coming in and chasing you, like I said. Ace of Cups, it's like, there's, you have a lot of self-love because you're in your truth. Queen of Pentacles. You see, it's like you're working on yourself. You could be starting a business. Um, and this person loves you. I feel like they miss your love. And that's why they're wanting to come back in. Three of Pentacles. 
They would be happy to work with you in some sort of relationship, Five of Pentacles. But they could feel left out. Maybe you're out being a player right now. Or they were. They were. And they don't want to talk about it. And so it's like... I feel like they're at some sort of distance from you, though. Could be emotional distance, physical distance. But there's a distance there. But this person has faith that they could still come back in. What's that Knight of Wands? The Knight of Wands. Cancer's person. Knight of Pentacles. This person's going to come in. They could have been very inconsistent. A player. Made a lot of false promises. But with the Knight of Pentacles, this person's going to be coming in. The High Priestess. And it's because they see you as very mysterious. And the person who knows a lot of things. See, it's like her eyes are closed, but her eyes are open. And that's just kind of like, you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Leo. But this person feels left out because you're strong. And you're very spiritually aligned. It's like you're very I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that means? She got her own house. Wow. Wow. Okay, but with the Page of Wands, you know, it's just like you're very independent and that's something that they admire about you. With the Page of Wands here, they are going to be messaging you. Three of Swords and the Hermit. See, Three of Cups here because right now they're working on getting in mind, body, and spirit. Okay, with the Hierophant here, they've learned a lot of lessons. Four of Swords, they're doing a lot of introspection still. Could be a Taurus that you're dealing with as well. Um, with the Queen of Swords here, I feel like you're very blunt, direct, and honest. And this person tends to get caught up in their ego. What's the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles? See, Nine of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, you could have wanted this person back then. So you were spending a lot of, like, time and money on them. You know, it's like you were just investing in this because you really wanted it. And now I feel like here, you're not really sure if you want it anymore. What's the Moon and Ace of Cups? Cancer and the Ace of Swords. Your four pentacles upside down. This person's going to stop holding back. They could have been very selfish when it came to finances, not wanting to share, not wanting to help you out. And now it's looking like they are going to help you. See, seven of swords and behind my back. It flew behind me. See, they are just, um, they were a two-faced. They would talk stuff behind your back. They weren't a good person. You see, and it looks like they got their karma. It could have been you leaving. That was their karma. Like, oh, you think cancer is going to keep putting up with you? You're wrong. And now they're trying to chase you for a date. They have a lot of love for you. You know, um, a lot of lust as well. And they're avoiding that conversation. But they have faith that, you know, it's like, shot through the heart. And you're too late, honey. You give love a bad name. You know, and it's like, that's kind of how they're feeling with the, I don't. Why do you feel that way? What's the cheapest arrow, Kenton? I don't know if they felt like you to a sword. Their heart is closed off. Their heart is closed off and they're being judged. So it's like they have to kind of fix their own life. For some reason, this person, um, I felt like they, I don't know why they were doing these things behind your back. I felt like you were loving and that was it. What's the sort of sword cancer? Like, what a hater. The tower, yeah, the universe is blowing things up for them. You know, if they want to keep their distance and be committed to you, the hermit, that's not going to happen. The hanged man. And I feel like, you know, their sh crappy, snaky, shady behavior with that hanged man, it's kind of changed your perspective on this person. Um, you could still love them, but I feel like you walked away for your own blessings. What's the hanged man with the seven of swords? See, the Emperor and the Nine of Pentacles. You're like, you know what? I'm just going to be with God. That's the God card, the Emperor right there. It's also like, um, you know, you just mastering yourself and your emotions and living your best life. You're kind of like, okay, deuces, you do that then. That's up to you. See, Two of Cups kind of upside down on top of the Eight of Swords. It's like, you know that you guys are not together because justice, it's karma. The lovers. It's a strong soul connection here. It could also be a Pisces or an Aries or a manager that you're dealing with or a Libra. But this person's watching you. King of Swords. They want to be honest with you. Ten of Swords. But they have to just cut out the BS. 
Cancer, you versus them, February 22nd and 23rd, 2022. Oh, Cancers, don't forget to pray on February 22nd, 2 a.m., 2 p.m., okay? You see, it's just not balanced. It's their karma. It's not balanced. They have to stop the BS. A double-sided man is unstable in all his ways. That's James. That's in the Bible, you see? And it's like clashing personalities. I feel like this person was very shady and sneaky, unwilling to yield, very hard-headed. But you guys are twin flames. That card wanted to come out. But I also have the four of wands over here. So it definitely is like a twin flame connection or a long-term relationship. But there's just so many regrets here about manipulation or something. I don't know, this person was very manipulative towards you. And I kind of feel like, again, it was for no reason. You know, it's just, yeah. Cancer, you versus them, February 22nd and 23rd, 2022, Cancer. See, back then I have here, you are like no other. You left. You left. Cancer, you versus them, February 22nd, 23rd, 2022, Cancer. Sweet and innocent love. But now that you guys know better, you guys can do better. So don't entirely be like, nah, screw them, you know, two-faced mofo. Like, <laughs> you know, I mean, okay, yeah, but relationship blossoming. This person wants to fix it. Strengthening bonds. You know, it's like uh, if you guys have been through a lot, you know, I feel like you tend to keep this person a secret or they keep you a secret. But you guys are going to be healing one another. You know, and it's... um. And also blending families here. But that secrecy thing, I don't feel like it's a bad thing. It's just one of those things um, where it's like you're protective. Or they're protective of their significant other. Like they don't want anyone to go and take them. But the secret lover, Cancer, you versus them, February 22nd and 23rd, 2022, Cancer. See, unwilling to yield with the two of cups upside down. It's like you're in your truth. And this is not balanced. So you're kind of like, until you could come correct, I'm just going to be here. And here it's like, um, see, concurrent relationships. There's no other relationships. That's why they don't want to hold back anymore. There's no more lessons they need to learn. So it's like, now they need to just make choices to come forward and make things right. If you'll still accept them. Um, that's 100% up to you guys. Okay, as of right now, what I'm seeing here is in the future, you guys will be blending families. Um, it could be dealing with the Leo, Pisces, and Aquarius, Sagittarius, any sign, uh, Aries, any sign for that matter. Um, but, you know, it's like, um, I feel like this person was holding back at one point, maybe being very selfish, um, a two-faced, I don't know why. Uh, I guess they felt like it was a competition, and well, now they want to come in and help you out. They're just kind of avoiding that conversation. But, and it's because it's imbalanced right now. Things are getting more into balance um, and things will be 100% balanced in March. But all right, guys, I'm going to close it out here. If this resonates with you guys, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment and subscribe. I always try to say the exit super fast. Um, much love. Please take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.